Um, something that's like, especially what the value I take out of storytelling is, I mean, I grew up in the Appalachian Mill, so I grew up hearing stories. But the thing like different about this, where you're sharing personal stories with each other, is that it allows you to grow and it allows your mindset to like, not necessarily change, but to become more open. Story exchanging is an amazing thing. Um, of course, like we just met each other and it feels like we've known each other for a very long time. And that's the beauty of story exchanges. You know, you meet someone, you don't know who they are, you don't know their background, whatever they've dealt with. But once you start that story exchange, as Greg said, it's like you're a part of them. It's like the story is yours now that you share this story with this person. And now you share two important, very important stories with me. I feel like I am you now. I feel connected with you and I feel where you have come from and your struggles and your past. This is a poem that I love. It's from Hafez, the uh, Sufi, the 12th century Sufi poet. And I'm paraphrasing, but it's something along the lines of the fool builds cages for everyone he knows, while the sage who has to drop his head when the moon hangs low keeps dropping keys all night long for all the beautiful, rowdy prisoners. And why I offer that poem about story is because story is both cage and key. Story is what allows us to classify people as those people, as them, as less than human. If those people are just crazy, they're evil, they can be destroyed. But story is also the key that allows us to see for the possibility of a different way of organizing ourselves and to connect before we can sort through all the voluminous data and all of that stuff about how we like to think we're rational beings. So story is really important. It's both that thing that can be used to oppress us, to deny our humanity, but it's also the vehicle that can unleash that humanity.